Handy out tonight here. I'm going to show you all the different ways you can do a screenshot on the iPhone. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. This may or may not work for your particular model, but it should work for all the newer models of the iPhone. What are the different ways that we can do screenshots? Well, there's the, the way that we're most common with with these newer devices is to push and hold the side button like this and press them at the same time and you take a screenshot and then you come into this screen where you can crop it, you can, you can mark it up with these different colors and styles, and then you can click done and either save it to photos or save it to files, which I'll save to photos. That's the most common way to take a screenshot, but I don't know if you realize, but there are other ways to do it, and some of which are much easier, much less of a hassle in my opinion than trying to find these buttons on the side and taking the shot. So one way is by going into our settings and going into the accessibility menu and then into the touch menu. And up at the top it says assistive touch and what this is is it allows you to use your iPhone if you have difficulty touching the screen or if you require an adaptive accessory. Let's go into here and we can turn it on. When we turn it on, there'll be a dot that will appear in a part of the screen and you can move that dot around. And there's different ways that you can set this up, but I'll show you in a minute. But if I tap on the dot and then tap device, you will be given a lot more options here, but then we want the more menu and you'll see at the top here, screenshot do that and we will be able to take a screenshot. Now obviously there's a lot of steps there to be able to take this screenshot, but if this works for you, that's great. It's a lot of steps for me. I don't wanna go through that every time, but there's a way to make it shorter even in this menu. If we go back to the assistive touch menu and we've got options here under custom actions, single tap, double tap and long press. And what I've done is I've set up double tap and long press to also be screenshots. And you can also set them up to do other things if that helps you out and you can explore that. So I've set those up. So my, a double tap here on this dot will allow me to take a screenshot just like I did before. I'll go ahead and save that. And also the long press. So if I just press long on there, it will do the screenshot as well in the same way. So this assistive touch, and I show you how you can move this around. You can move this around to other parts of the screen. And this could be really convenient if you were only working with one hand or only holding your phone with one hand. It can be really nice, way easier than trying to do this with two of your fingers. So a way that I prefer actually is a method that you can also set up in this accessibility menu. I'll go back here to the beginning of the settings where we go into accessibility and we go want to go into touch. And instead of going the assistive touch up here at the top, we'll go all the way down and you'll see back tap at the bottom and go into there. And there's two options, double tap and triple tap. Now the tap is done here on the back on the Apple logo and it has to be done right around the center here. If it's too high or too low, it doesn't work. So I have it set up so that a double tap on that Apple logo will do a screenshot and a triple tap will do a Shazam shortcut that I'll show you in just a minute. But this, I should say it also works if you have a case for your phone. I have a pretty thick case for my iPhone 13. And so let's go and try it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double tap uh, the the Apple logo here in the back and it should come up with a screenshot there we go and just the same way as before we'll save it so I find that one the easiest for me to use uh, instead of using these side buttons now this assistive gesture is convenient too uh, especially when you set up those custom actions to do the double tap screenshot there. Now the Shazam is the triple tap on the back here that I really like if I'm in a place where I hear music, I hear song I really like, and I don't know what it is. All I have to do is triple tap the back and my Shazam starts listening 
and will pop up the song that I'm listening to. I'm not listening to music now. That's why nothing's popping up. So there's a, the different ways of being able to do a screenshot on the iPhone. Let me know in the comments below if this has been helpful. Maybe there's other ways to get to the screenshot that I'm not aware of. Let me know. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get my content as it goes up. And I'll see you in the next video.